Hello, I'm making a video on how to use the Google Maps component in Adalo. Um, you can find a component by going to the marketplace and you'll see map. So you can click install and then you can see it in your installed components. So let's just get that on the screen uh, because obviously that's what we're going to be filling in. Um, Let's go to our database and make sure we've got a property, um, maybe the marker location. The way I'm going to do this video is by running through um, the, the help docs here. Um, that's the best way to do it. You're going to want to follow step by step in order that you're not going to miss anything. So let's get going. Uh, let's click on this first link, um, which is set up your Google API key. Okay, so here let's go to the next link, go to credentials page. And now we're on the Google Cloud platform. Alright, so I've already got some projects here, but because uh, I'm doing a tutorial, let's create a project. Okay, so new maps example and uh, organization, uh, no organization, okay, create. Okay, so that's finished creating. And the next thing we need to do is create credentials, create API key. So click up here, create credentials, API key and that is now creating. Okay, so we want to copy this key and um, store it somewhere, uh, maybe a text file. Okay, and that is the API key that we're going to paste into the Maps component. So go to the map here and put in your Google API key that we've just copied. Okay, so far, so good. All right, the next thing we've got to do is make sure that we've got on our Google um, account all of the relevant Maps APIs enabled. Um, and there's four of them. So let's go to the first. Okay, Maps JavaScript API. Uh, by the way, if you've got multiple projects, you can see up here which project you're, you currently have open. Okay, so the JavaScript API is enabling. I'll open the rest of these um, in new tabs. Okay, so that is enabled. Next one, geocoding. That's important um, so that it recognizes the address. Okay, so without all four of these enabled, you will have some problems. And that is a common mistake um, people have when setting up. All right, so you can see, now we've got four enabled APIs, happy, happy. Um, and last step is the billing. This is the second most common mistake. You must have a linked billing account, okay? So even if you've got payments set up, make sure you head here. Okay, and as standard, you're gonna get $300 free credit if you haven't used Google before. Okay, so let's test out if this is working. We've got our API key. Um, let's try single marker. And then under markers, we can we can hard code where this is for now. So let's say Birmingham. And okay, let's give it a preview and see if that is working. And okay, that is working straight away. And that went really smoothly. I've had plenty of problems before. So just to point out, um, the number one problems are the billing not set up. Number two most common problem is all four APIs not active. Um, and another tip is um, it can take a few minutes to get working even when you've set it up correctly. I've noticed a couple of very strange things that um, get it working properly. One of which is 
um, placing two maps on the same thing, then I would go to previewer and it would start working. Um, and then other people have suggested delete the component and make it again. Um, so let's also show um, how to do multi-markers. So go to number of markers and go to multiple. And we do need a collection. Um, so let's call these markers. Um, we can have one property called location. All right, so we've just created a collection on the database. Let's fill in some sample values. So let's make Birmingham, London, uh, Manchester. Okay, so we've got three markers there. Um, so here we go. For the marker address, it's the current marker location. And let's go to preview and check if this is working properly. Okay, it <laughs> looks like um, we've got Birmingham, Alabama, I, I assume. Yeah, there we go. But anyway, it is working correctly. Um, okay, so that is the general outline of how you set up the uh, Google Maps component. There are a few other options. You can change it to a hybrid style or satellite or terrain. Um, and there's also this custom style JSON, which I didn't... Uh, I've never had a play with that, but that's another feature that you can have a look at. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Any questions, please ask.